card. Yeah. Partner ready? Yeah. Judges ready? Yes. Opponents ready? Yes. Time starts now. War. It is a state of conflict between two opposing forces. In war, solutions are made, but with terrifying results. With war, people lose their lives. People lose their family. With war, people live in fear. War and combat are maze awakening decisions. Which countries get more land? Which countries get more resources? However, warfare like this is not the only way to make decisions. There are other ways, such as deals and compromises. Judges, we ask you to vote for pro, diplomacy. This is firstly because war causes loss of life. Economic, this is firstly because war causes loss of life, lo loss of economic gain, and loss of resources. Secondly, warfare is far less effective than diplomacy. Judges, when making your decision, we ask you to remember the, f the fact that life is important, and surely lives cannot re be replaced by a dispute that can so easily be, so be solved by discussion. Firstly, warfare causes a, lo a loss of life, economic gain, and resources. Military power not only sacrifices the lives of our very own citizens, and, but, and in other countries as well, and it is also extremely expensive, and it is not proven to work. One example is the Second Gulf War, the 2003 invasion and occupancy of, of Iraq. The most recent major study on this dispute is from Brown University. The study said that the war costs over $1.1 trillion just for the U.S., and not to mention other countries as well. Also, according to the 2013 U.S. Department of Defense report, we lost almost 5,000 U.S. soldiers in this war, just between 2003 and 2014. The UN Refugee Agency stated that over 3 million refugees fled to the US because of this war. On the other hand, the point of this war was to find the weapons of mass destruction, which we did not find. We also failed the complex task of ending terrorism and nation building. The chaotic situation brought by the war in Iraq fueled, fueled the rise of ISIS, which is now one of the most horrible terrorist groups that killed over 1,200 people so far. Looking into the situation deep, deeply, you may see a typical post-war power vacuum. After the U.S. invasion, there is no, there is no U.S.-led diplomatic leadership and goodwill to win the hearts and souls of, Iraq, of the Iraq people to help them rebuild their country. Power vacuums will lead to complete anarchy or civil war when so many forces rush to fill the space. These voids would usually lead to a civil war and loss of innocent lives. In fact, according to the... In fact, Lives are lives being lost in war is very important. According to the National World War II Museum, around 60 million people died in World War II, and 45 million of these people were innocent civilians. In America alone, over 400,000 people, both military and civilians, died in this war. These are innocent people whose lives could have been saved if diplomacy was used. Also, the U.S. is spending near, nearly 200 billion a year for Iraq and Afghanistan conflicts. Also, war harms a country's resources. For example. During civil war in Liberia, a hydroelectric plant was destroyed, and the country has not been able to have electricity since, 14 years later. Contention 2. Diplomacy is, can be much more effective than military. Not only that military, that military support force is not sufficient, but our greatest foreign affairs tri triumphs were also the result of skillful diplomacy, not military powers. One example is the Marshall Plan, European Recovery Program, is one of the greatest diplomatic initiatives in human history. The Marshall Plan was an American in initiative to help rebuild Western European economies after the end of World War II. The goals of the United States were to, were to restore war-devastated regions, remove trade barriers, modernize industry, and finally make Europe prosperous once more. By almost any account, the Marshall Plan was a brilliant success and an example of diplomacy. In conclusion, diplomacy is the better solution of most conflicts. Diplomacy is the most effective solution. With diplomacy, more innocent people's lives are spared. With the with diplomacy, less money is lost. Clearly, if diplomatic solutions can, e can, can ultimately make beneficial deals for both sides, prevent loss of money, resources, and valuable lives, it should be valued over warfare. Another, another example of a diplomatic solution is, is the ping pong democracy. For example, for example, Now. Okay, so your second ten your second contention was that um, military force and war leads to loss of economics, right? That was our first contention. Oh, okay. So, do you agree that lives are more important than money? Um, I do not agree that, but lives and money were both filtered into that contention. 
So you're saying that money matters more than people's lives? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it causes lots of... My contention was that it causes lots of multiple things, live resources and money. I never prioritize one over the other. Okay, and um, you also use the second Gulf War as one of your examples. Um, do you have any more? Um, examples for what? Just for that contention of just diplomacy of just warfare not working, or yeah. Well, um, well, simple loss of lives is basically warfare not working, and that covers basically every single war that ever happened. Okay, and also in World War Two, um, why do you think that diplomacy didn't work? Diplomacy didn't work because they resorted to war. Could you with more, explain that? With more efforts to diplomacy, with more efforts to diplomacy, a war could have been a war could have possibly been prevented. This is an example of warfare. Do you have any evidence that if diplomatic force was used, then maybe the outcome would have been different? Um, there's there's no technic there's technically no need for evidence there. I'm saying if dip if, di if, dipl if diploma diplomatic attempts were tried at all, then there is a slight chance that this could have been lessened, or tried more. So you don't have evidence? I don't think evidence would be necessary for this. It's basically history. Okay. And can you give me an example of your third contention? Um, there uh, was... Consent? Angela? Uh, yeah. Middle, please. Okay, so partner ready? Yeah. Uh, opponents ready? Uh, yes. uh, judges ready? Okay, time starts now. We've all heard about North Korea and U.S. relationships recently. Trump's saying it's a waste of time talking to them and how it hasn't worked for the past 25 years. And he's right. Our attempts to talk diplomatically to North Korea and find a solution haven't been working. North Korea keeps ignoring us and continues to make bombs. The whole world is in danger now. So is diplomacy really helping keep the peace? Today, me and my partner are here to prove why, on balance, military power is better at keeping peace as one, it makes it so leaders cannot ignore your point, two, makes leaders more considerate, and three, it helps strengthen our relationship with other countries. My first claim is that it makes it so your opponent cannot ignore your point. During World War II, Hitler was one of the major players, and he was part of the Axis power, and his goals were to kill off all the Jews and expand Germany. He would not listen to anything diplomatic, despite all of Europe's attempts, and he, because he had his mind set on his goal. Eventually, the Allies had to step up and stop him before he achieved these goals, which would have been horrible for the world. Another example of leaders ignoring diplomacy is North Korea. As I mentioned before, they've been ignoring the rest of the world for the past 25 years. Even though they've signed multiple treaties, like the International Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and North Korea and U.S. agreement to freeze their nuclear production. So if with diplomacy, people can just ignore you and not face consequences, why should they listen to you? My second claim is that it makes leaders more considerate. Before, if there was a cause for war, there would most likely be a war. But with the invention of nuclear weapons, this has changed. So many countries now have nuclear weapons that there are roughly around 15,000 in the world today. Many are more powerful than those dropped on Japan. Even 100 of these bombs, 100 out of these 15,000, could destroy the world. Not only would it destroy the ozone layer and black out the sky, the radiation and explosions themselves will wipe out most life. And because these are such catastrophic after effects with just 100 bombs dropped, leaders all over the world are now more considering are now more considerate and willing to find peace with other countries instead of going to war. And if you don't believe me, take for example India and Pakistan. They've had three wars in the past, and, but now they've signed multiple treaties not to use anything harming like chemical weapons and also to not attack each other's nuclear bases as they know the danger of that. My third and final claim is that military force helps strengthen our relationship with other countries. If you didn't know, France is an ally of the US, but do you know how the relationship started? In 1778, the French aided the U.S. in its fight for freedom, and our relationship is still strong today. In the, department, the U.S. Department of State says, the U.S. and France work closely on many issues, most notably combating terrorism, efforts to send the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, and on regional problems. Australia and U.S. relationship and South Korea and U.S. relationships are also great examples of um, alliances started from military actions. And if... And to conclude, for these three reasons, um, me and my partner strongly urge you to vote a uh, con ballot as, yeah, thank you.
Carl Sachs. Can we take 30 seconds back? Of course. Ready? That was 13 seconds. Okay. Um, so, on. sorry. Ready? Cross X starts now. Um, can you elaborate on, on the interaction between the U.S. and North Korea? So, it's not just between the U.S. and North Korea, it's between North Korea and the whole world, and that the fact that they've signed multiple treaties, and they just ignored those treaties, and are continuing to make bombs, which is, going to in, which is endangering the whole world. All right, and um, what? And do you happen to know why they are making these bombs? To um, to attack other countries. They have said so themselves that they're going to use these to attack other countries. <coughs> also, um, for for world, can you summarize what you're talking about with Adolf Hitler in, war, in World War Two? Um, so Adolf Hitler, his goals were to kill off all the Jews and expand Germany. And if we had not stepped up to stop him, and I continued to try to reason with him, which if as, as I mentioned, we've tried before already in the past, and, and he would have ach achieved those goals, and which would not have been good. You're saying that we would, it'd be f that he would have wiped okay, out the whole you. race. Of, okay. So, um, so what what do you think about the people who were following Adolf Hitler? Was there, do you think there was possibly a, dipl a diplomatic option there? Um, what's your question? Could you rephrase? Your what question? about the people who followed Hitler? Do you think there would possibly be a diplomatic action there? People following Hitler. Um, they were following Hitler. They were just following him. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh, attack Khan. Could we use a minute? You okay. sure can. Um, partner ready? Yep. Yeah. ready? Yeah. Judges ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. My time will start now. So my opponents say in their first contention that the, that losing lives lives is the main outcome of war, and it's the worst that could happen. However, they disagreed with me when I asked if lives were more important than money, saying that they didn't favor one more than the other. Also, in their second contention, they said that war was less effective. They used examples such as the Marshall Plan and the Redstone War. However, the resolution is on balance, and these were just a few examples. There are examples when military forced work too like when the U.S. bombed Japan and when the U.S. fought Britain in the Revolutionary War. These taught those countries that the U.S. was a force not to be messed with, and they both are still good allies to today. So this proves that military action can also be just as good or even better than diplomatic action, and that's why you should go con. Thank you. Can we take uh, some red running? Yes, I can. All right, we're ready. Uh, that's you have uh, two thirty left now. Yeah. Two thirty. Yep. All right. Um, is everyone ready? Uh, yeah, we let you know in cross-section. Remember, here we go. Oh, cross yeah. starts now. All right. Um, do you have an example of negotiations not working? Um, yeah. When Trump asked North Korea, um, he, um, North Korea was bent upon using the nuclear bomb. No matter how much Trump tried to talk to them, they were just, they had their mindset. Do you have more examples? Um... Yes, ISIS. So, um, ISIS is a terrorist group, and I'm pretty sure we've tried to negotiate with them, but it hasn't worked. And there's no chance but to use military action to save the lives that are being slaughtered in the Middle East, and that's why we have troops there. Okay. Um, how exactly did you attack our first position against? Oh, you said that. Um, the loss of lives is the main outcome of war. We never said. Oh yeah, well, yeah. The loss of lives, economic gain, and resources, war warfare causes those things. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait. So how does that attack it again? What do you mean? 
you know, like how does saying warfare causes loss of lives, economic gain, and resources attack our case? No, that that was what? What? Okay, whatever. Also, um, yeah, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Uh. Is a uh, partner ready? Opponent ready? Yeah. yeah. Judge is ready. Okay. So, um, our opponents stated that in World War II, uh, Hitler cannot be negotiated with, and also like terrorist groups like ISIS cannot be negotiated with. But um, the diplomacy in in these situations is actually so re relevant when it comes to solving these problems. Um, e even in the situation with ISIS, the current terrorist threat is a war between Islam with, within Islam is between the majority or moderates and the small minority who wants to force others into extremists like ISIS. We cannot win unless the moderates win. We cannot win unless the number of people, the extremists such as ISIS, are rec are recruiting is lower than the number of people our military pe are are defeating or deterring. We must win the hearts and minds of the Muslim community to prevent terrorist groups like ISIS to recruit more people to become extremists. This is where military power is completely useless. One example of this actually working is, is during the Cold War. The West used, di used diplomacy to erode faith in communism behind the Iron Curtain, and this won people's heart and minds. This can be also used in the Ger German example. If we can win, if, if we could have won people's hearts and minds when they were voting for Adolf Hitler or the people um, who were fighting for them, uh, this could have prevented the war and uh, deterred World War II. Also, our opponents made the claim that North Korea is like making bombs to attack countries right now. But um, the dispute between the United States, the rest of the country, and North Korea started because of war. It, it started because of, because of the Korean War. Also, um, our opponent said we just had a few examples, but we, we had very major examples like the Marshall Plan. The Marshall Plan is one of the the, na the world's greatest diplomatic initiatives in human history. Um, uh, the Marshall Plan was an American initiative to help rebuild Western European e economies after the end of World War II. The goals of this were to restore war-devastated regions, remove trade barriers, modernize industry, and make Europe prosperous once more. By almost any account, this plan was a brilliant success. It gave European econom economy a considerable boost and demonstrated U.S. goodwill to former adversaries like Germany and Italy. So also, um, our opponents said that in our first, con they attacked our first contention by saying that um, we said that money is more important than lives, which my partner did not say. We stated that warfare causes the loss of lives, causes the loss of lives, lost of economy and the loss of resources. For these reasons, I urge you judges, please vote pro. Thank you. Cross examination. Um, so, did you say anything against our third contention? Which, what was, which was that we, it helps strengthen our relationship with other countries? What? Um, my third contention was that military force helps strengthen our relationship with other countries. Did you say anything against that? Um, During your speech? Yes or no? I don't think so. Okay, thank you. Um, also, you said that um, uh, uh, so you said World War Two. Um, it, it cost a lot of um, everything, right? For what? Uh, World War Two. You said cost like a lot of lives. Economy, no, we did not say World War Two. We said that um, the Second Gulf War. Okay, thank you. Uh, hold on, what was your um, rebuttal to our second contention? What was your second contention? Uh, that it makes leaders more considerate. I think you said something about um, Germany, Ad Adolf Hitler, and ISIS. Yeah, it was like that. the nuclear bombs. The how nuclear the bombs. Preventing war. Was Korea? Was Korea? Uh, no, we used um, just used an example of India and Pakistan. Did you attack it? I think you also used, I, I think you also used a Korean example and we said that. was that our first contention. Did you attack our second contention during your uh, rebuttal? Yes uh, or no? I think we did. Okay. Um, 
could you could give me some like uh, I don't remember like what you said in the second contention. Do you remember what you just said? I remember what exactly what I said. I said um, if we can win the hearts and souls of people like ISIS and Germany's followers, we could have prevented those wars and prevented things like ISIS from forming. And ISIS was formed by a war, um, like in the Gulf War. Um, okay. It was because of this war that fueled the rise of ISIS. What, but what did you say specifically to attack our second uh, contention? So we're defending? Uh, yeah, it's pro-defense. Pro-defense. Wait, who's defending? Oh, you guys are defending. Pro-defense. First, first, first speaker. You want some prep time? We just had some running prep time. So now you have a minute 50, okay? Kenny, you ready, kiddo? Yes, all right. Um, partner ready? Yeah. Opponents ready? Yes. Yeah. So our opponents didn't really, didn't really attack any of our contentions. They said, they said, for example, for contention one, they stated that because we, fa because we stated that we didn't favor lives over economy and resources, somehow our contention is invalid. First of all, we never stated that. We just, we just put three important things on a list and we didn't really specify, and we didn't really specify which ones are more important. Secondly, our personal, even if, even if we thought, even if we hypothetically thought that for whatever reason lives were more important than economic, than e economic gain, our personal biases have nothing, have nothing to do with what we stated in our contention. Also, they stated that we did not have strong ed evidence in our in our second contention. However, we state we we mentioned the um, we mentioned one of the great one of the greatest um, one of the um, greatest um, like greatest um, like diplomatic diplomatic actions of all time the Mar the Marshall th the Marshall thing. Um, this was this was one of the greatest diplomatic efforts of all time. And if this is not and if this is not strong evidence, then I don't know. Also, they stated that on balance, that that their that their case was that they that theirs was better warfare because they had more evidence to support it. However, we clearly stated that on balance, in most cases, diplomacy would be better. Think about it. Think about it this way: would, Why would you resort to war, to warfare if you could if you could ha if you could possibly sort it out with a reason with a reasonable discussion? The, this proves that on balance, diplomacy is the is the better option. Thank you. Uh, yeah, 30 seconds. <coughs> oh, we're, we're You're done. Yeah. Firstly, um, during my opponent's um, speech, their defense speech, they said something that we did not say. They said that we said, to counter them, we said lives over money, but we did not say that. Okay. And for our three claims, our opponents did not really attack our um, impacts. They, they didn't attack either or any of our impacts. So first one, my impact was that you can't, they can't ignore you when you're using military power. And they didn't attack that. They attacked our evidence. But again, World War II, Hitler, it was caused by failed diplomacy. So I don't get it. So all, all those reasons they gave, the 60 million lives lost, all those numbers, and uh, the crashing economy, all those numbers, those go to failed diplomacy. Because diplomacy failed, that is what happened. That is the after effects of failed diplomacy. 
And for a second one that makes leaders more considered, they didn't really have a reason for that either. They, I don't, re I didn't really get anything countering that. They didn't really counter the fact that when I said the example of India and Pakistan, they didn't say anything against that. And for our third one, that where I say strengthen our relationship, they didn't touch that one at all. They didn't try to attack my our evidence. They didn't try to attack the impact. They didn't attack that one at all. For these reasons, I believe that our argument still stands strong, which is why you should vote a con ballot. Thank you. Can we just run it, Kev? Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll take the rest. How much do we have? Uh, minute 50. Okay, yeah, we'll take it. You got partner ready? Yeah, go ahead. Partner ready? Yes. Opponents ready? Yep. Judges ready? Yep. All right. So um, in the end, our side wins because, um, for first of all, in their rebuttals, I don't know uh, how they attack their stuff. So like for for contention one, they said something about how they how we value um, money and resources o over lives, which we did not say. We just as my partner stated, we just put these three things in a list and did not prioritize any of them. For contention two, um, they didn't attack any of our examples. They didn't even attack our impact. They didn't even attack like the um, the case itself. We stated that um, that uh, d during the Second Gulf War, um, it, it, first of all, the, the war completely failed. We did not find the weapons of mass destruction. We did not remove the trade barriers, and we did, did not end terrorism. And in fact, this war actually started the, and fueled the rise of terrorism, which can be only solved using diplomatic initiatives. As I said in our rebuttals, um, we can only win the hearts and souls of these people if we use diplomatic initiatives. And uh, these uh, wars are not against the leaders. They're, these are against the people who they are recruiting. They, these are against the people they're trying to force to become extremists. If we can prevent that from happening, um, these uh, terrorist groups will be solved. And also, um, like I said, uh, the um, uh, war can lead to de devastating consequences. Like in the civil war during, in Libya, the hydroelectric plant was dis completely destroyed and the country has not been able to have electricity since, which is like over 10 years. Also, we have, a, we have mo they said that we didn't have many examples of di diplomacy working, but we have mo multiple examples. First of all, the Marshall Plan. Also, we have an another one about um, the ping pong democracy, how the U.S. and China exchanged multiple ta table tennis players when they did not have any formal diplomatic relationships with each other, which marked us all um, in our relationships with each other. Um, for these reasons, I urge you, Judge, to vote pro. Thank you. Can we use the rest of prep? Sure. Um, everyone ready? Partner, opponent, judges? Yep. My time will start now. To conclude, our impact of maintaining peace using military force and action is stronger, more efficient, and faster than our opponent's impact of maintaining peace by diplomacy. Because your enemies cannot ignore you, leaders around the world become more considerate and our relationships with other countries strengthen. My opponent said that war was less effective. This is wrong because the reason World War II was started was be, sorry, the reason World War II was stopped was because the US and the Allies became involved and put a stop to Hitler. This is not a game. Can we really just sit down and negotiate while innocent people in our country are being bombed and killed? Can we just watch and let it happen without doing anything? No, we cannot. We need to fight back. Failed diplomacy, the cause of 60 million lives, the cause of 60 million lives being lost, a destroyed country and economy in World War II. In our opponent's defense speech and summary, they just attacked us, saying false things, such as us saying that their info is invalid, which we never said. The U.S. Constitution clearly protects every American's lives. This is what matters most. And for these reasons, and since lost lives cannot be returned, we strongly urge you to vote for the con team. Thank you.